Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we're going to be going through another photo peak tutorial. Today we're going to be walking through how to adjust the quality of an image and kind of make it look a little bit sharper. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, I've got this logo that I found off of Google and it is looking a little bit pixelized. If I zoom in and I look at it, you can see that it's looking pretty rough. You can see all those harsh edges. We're going to go about and we're going to go change that. To start, we are going to go to image and we are going to go down to image size. With that, we are going to change our DPI to 300. Now with our DPI set to 300, click OK, and it will make your image significantly larger. Now when we're zoomed in, our pixels actually look a little bit better already. When we're zoomed out, it's looking a lot better, but you can still see we're looking a little bit hazy. So our next step is going to go to filter. We're going to go to blur, but before we do that, let's make a copy so that way we can show everybody what it looked like before. Filter, blur, and we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Now you're going to adjust this based on your image just to the point where all the lines are looking clean. So you can see there's a nice clean outer line. You just zoom out, you can kind of tell a little bit better on how the outside edge of that will look. When you're happy with it based on your image, you're going to click OK. You're going to lock that in. Now just from changing these two, you can already see kind of a pretty decent difference for how this is going. From here, we are now going to go to our new adjustment layer. We are going to go to curves and we are going to adjust our slider over to the left on the bottom and the one, or sorry, to the right on the bottom and on the top, we are going to be going to the left. And we are going to kind of adjust that until you find your perfect spot to adjust this and done. You're just going to close your menu and that's it. Now, this has gone from, if we jam this up to the top, gone from there. To there in a matter of seconds it's a really straightforward depending on your logo now complicated things might be a little bit more difficult but i'll be going through a second bit on this for colored logos and adjusting that but that'll be for another day as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you learned something have a wonderful day take care and be safe